half tuple. Then next data structure is sets. As we all will be familiar with sets. Then dictionary. So these are four basic data structures with the help of which uh, we can program n number of things in Python. Okay. Now coming to the first point that is list. So now what do you understand by the name list? Okay. Let's not go much into the technical part right now. Okay. I'll just erase this. So as of now, what we understand as list is nothing but let's say uh, someone from our house is making a list for a festival okay or let's say we make a list of groceries so what is that that is nothing but uh, let me write down example that is nothing but a list that is collection of all the atoms whichever we require so that is what here the definition says lists are used to store multiple items in a single variable okay so for example let's take daily life example list of items or let's say daily use items groceries then let's say list of vacation destination correct even that becomes your list when you're planning for your vacation what you do you list down you jot down some jot down some points and then you figure out okay what is your requirement so that again becomes a list of vacation destination so now what we understand here is we jot down the list on a single page one below the other correct so if i just uh, give you example uh, let, let me say um, i want to go to kerala so my first destination becomes kerala second becomes uti then third becomes kashmir so what i'm doing basically i'm jotting it down one below the other now when it comes to list and you're defining the list you should write it down like this in square brackets enclosed in square brackets so let me take destination and in the square brackets let me write now Kerala then let me write Uti and lastly it's Kashmir okay so this is how we are going to define a list okay so i'll just comment it here defining a list okay now we can change the order okay we can make it duplicate i'm explaining the last point that is we can change the order we can make duplicates we can edit those lists so now let's say if I have assumed that I'm going to Kerala, okay, but let's say my budget, so budgets basically for Kerala is ranging, let's say 40,000 rupees. Uh, then for UT, let's say it is only 25,000 rupees because it is only one destination. And for Kashmir, let me charge 50,000 rupees, okay. So now what happens, I want to actually go to Kerala, okay, but the budget is 40,000. When I am planning for my own destination, my budget is not beyond 30,000. So what happens now, I will decide to go to Uti because the budget is 25,000 only. So now when I'm making it final, final list, okay, so let me write down only final so then what I'll do I'll now arrange my destinations in the order of which my budget is so now that is what we are trying to tell here is if I write like this UT then let me write Kerala so that is perfectly fine we can change the order okay now 
द लास्ट पॉइंट सो लेट्स से आफ्टर विजिटिंग कश्मीर आई अगेन फेल्ट टू सी सम सी साइड्स ओके सो आई अगेन थॉट टू गो बैक टू केरला सो दिस इज हाउ वी कैन टेक द सेम आइटम टू टाइम्स ओके सो लेट लेट मी से इफ आई एम मेकिंग अ लिस्ट ऑफ ग्रॉसरीज एंड आई हैव सोप okay so there is a soap of body and there is a soap let's say another soap so that is a soap atom that is a common atom okay and we are mentioning it two times that is the duplicate values clear so list allows duplicate values it allows integer values it allows string values that is alphabets and also i'll give you an example it allows mixed values so let me take um, one destination so one small destination let's go with jaipur okay it's very nearby and then my budget for jaipur is 30000 okay duration of stay so i am going to stay in okay i should not write this 30 here okay i should make it without inverted commas because it is an integer value so now when i'm making my stay for let's say 4 days so i'll just uh, reassume or i'll just uh, refresh and i make it for 4.5 days now my stay is lasting for only 4.5 days and i'm going that is true so let me say that i am or let me just write booking confirmed okay so now this is basically my data representing in a mixed format okay so this is just the example that i tried to show how we can write uh, many data types into a single data structure okay now coming to accessing the values so i haven't given any print statement so we go, we won't get any output here now when i'm trying to access access the value is nothing but use that value or get the value as my output so i'll just write mix in bracket uh, now i want to access let's say i want to change the number of days so uh, the okay now here the concept of indexing comes into picture so what is indexing it is nothing but i am trying to assign the values to each atom so it is not basically me who is assigning the values but it is actually the computer or let's say the system so the system which is going to assign value it is going to start as from zero okay so this jaipur is going to get zero this 30000 will be at the position 1 4.5 is at the position 2 and booking confirmed is at the position 3 so this basically is called as positive indexing okay now when i want to change my number of days so that is at location what second location counting from 0 1 and 2 it is a second location so i'll just write two okay now before that if i just print this particular part what is going to be my output 4.5 days okay so this is basically called as accessing the values i'm just taking my value as the output now when i want to change that particular value i am going to write mix so mix is nothing but name of my list mix2 is equals to now i have increased my stay to 6 days so i'm just going to make it 6 days and now i'm going to write print mix so now my values only value 6 has been changed and the rest value are retained as it is okay so this is all about indexing in list